Hey everyone, it's Angela from avpan.com and this is the next video in my video series on how to take better pictures. Today we're going to be talking about white balancing and what white balancing does is it basically gets the colors, um, it's basically taking your subject and capturing the same colors that are on your subject in your camera. You can do that in two different ways, in automatic and there's different automatic settings for that and then you can do it manually and we'll talk about both of those things. Um, automatic, usually your camera will do it automatically. But there's also automatic settings. So I have my camera here with me and I don't memorize all the settings. So I wanted to just go through them all real quick. So the first setting on my camera is, it looks like a little sun and um, and that means for a sunny day when it's really bright outside, um, no clouds, noon, like just a really bright day, you want to use that setting. The next setting on my picture, on my camera is, it's like a little picture of a house and it has like these little lines on it and right next to the house and it means shade. So whenever you're like under a tree or um, like under... I don't know, some kind of roof, but you're still outside, then you want to use that picture or that setting, white balance setting for shape. Um, okay, so the next setting is it looks like a cloud. And then this is a setting I use most of the time when I take sunrise and sunset pictures. Um, it's just on a cloudy day. So, like when I take the sunrise pictures, the sun isn't out yet, it's not full force sun so usually when I take pictures I am using the cloudy setting. The next on my white balancing settings is um, it looks like a light bulb and that's for indoor lighting um, so you're inside your house you're inside um, friend's house <laughs> I don't know and there's a whole bunch of light bulbs around you and that is your main source of lighting, then you want to use this setting. And then the next one is like a long thing and it has like the little lines coming out of it and it's like the, um, and basically that is the setting for fluorescent light. Like when you're, you remember in school how like, the lights were always like this long or like um, in hospitals they're like this long basically it's just like when you're indoors and you're it's not a light bulb then you want to use this setting um, it makes sorry that's my puppy <laughs> it makes your lighting a little bit cooler compared to compared to the just the light bulb setting So those are just the basic, oh and then there's flash and it's a little lightning bolt with a little lightning bolt with a little arrow on this end of it and that's when you use your flash, you use that white balance setting. So those are the basic um, automatic white balancing settings. So there's a manual setting in your camera too where you can set your white balance manually. Uh, what you do is like set up all your lighting to the way that you want it. Take a picture of a white piece of paper, white poster board, white... I, I mean, one time I even took a picture of a white paper towel. And then you just take a picture in that lighting situation. And then you set your camera um, to to tell your camera that that is the white, set, that is the white um, in your lighting right now. All cameras are different, so you're going to have to read your camera manual to figure out how to set your own white balancing, but that is the way you manually do it. Oh, there's also these cool little things I've seen on photojojo.com where um, it's like a lens cap, and on the lens cap is like this little like white bubble thing, and like if you just take a picture with the, um, with the lens cap on, it's basically like another way to white balance. It's just like another piece of paper in front. But it just makes it so much easier because you always have your lens cap on. So that's pretty much it for white balancing. It's a pretty simple concept but uh, I use it all the time. I love white balancing. 
anything that you do with your camera is so much easier to learn on your camera than instead of going home and be like, oh, I can just Photoshop that. It is just so much easier to get it right with your camera as opposed to waiting for Photoshop. So it's a really basic, easy to understand concept. It's just basically getting the colors the way that you see the subject in person and um, that is it. And just play around with the different settings. Most of the time I use the cloudy settings, but that's just the type of pictures that I take. Um, play around with it, have fun, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, and if you have any other questions or comments or whatever, please leave it down in the comments. Make sure to subscribe for whenever I have new videos because I'm trying to come out with 